Yesterday I finished Woman at Point Zero and I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I was at the beginning. I feel like the last 20% of it pulled together for me and I think also part of why I moved away from being sort of neutral or oh I'm unsure to being like yeah I like this overall is that I was part of the buddy read discussion and talking to Mary over at Books and Pizza was really useful um, for helping me iron out my thoughts and even though we had different um, overall feelings of the book I think she liked it a lot more than me and was more emotionally attached to it than I was um, ultimately um, I really find other people's enthusiasm for something that I'm like so so about to be quite um, I wouldn't say it changes my opinion directly necessarily but I think it helps me to see the th the, the things that I might have been critical about a little bit more positively or in a different way or just appreciate it at least more neutrally rather than like mm, I don't know you know so I really love um, that aspect of Buddy Reads so I'll talk about that more later in its own review but um, I'm pleased with that I'm glad I read it um, right now I'm trying to get through uh, Out of Mouth's Shadow, which I actually started reading <laughs> I think like two years ago now, um, and I think I got about a little over a hundred pages in, which is about a third of the way through the book, maybe a little less than a third, and um, I remember really liking it at the time and feeling like I was learning quite a lot, but also feeling like um, the history of China still feels um, quite foreign to me and <laughs> that's such an ir ironic choice of words but what I mean by that is that I've, I'm finding it very difficult um, to keep track of dates in my head I don't feel like I have anything to anchor things to and so I feel like I'm finding out a lot of interesting things but it's just it, it's hard for to keep really properly anchored in my head um, but I returning to it now after so long uh, also feels a bit weird because the continuity of events and people and stuff like that feels um, I'm, I'm a little disoriented uh, with it going in now but each chapter kind of I don't, I don't want to say is standalone but each chapter um, I think uh, the way it's handled like it doesn't feel like I'm totally thrown off going into a new chapter you know because uh, I don't think he really makes direct reference to things in previous chapters like that, like not um, specific tiny details, it's more, um, I don't know, I think it'll be fine to, to pick up again without starting from the beginning, but I'll see. Um, that one, oh, this one is actually not translated, so it's not... Um, I mean, it's, it feels kind of like background um, reading, I guess, for Invisible Cities, but not direct reading for Invisible Cities. It's more of a physical TBR thing. I'm just out for a walk today. I thought it would be nice to be outside and listen to the home place for the book naturalists, but for some reason it's just suddenly unavailable on Scribd um, as an audiobook now, even though it was available just like a day or two ago, which is really annoying um, because I quite like listening to audiobooks when I'm on my walk. It's really convenient and just nice, you know? But instead, I think I'm gonna finish up China in 10 words, which I'm really enjoying, by the way. And I only have about two hours left in it, I think, uh, on in the audiobook. And then I will just have to read the home place um, as an ebook, which um, that's that's fine. But it, I just I don't think I will I will be able to finish that before the end of the month. But 
We'll see. It was on my list anyway, so I'm not reading it just for the book naturalists, but it's nice if you get to kind of um, join in with the discussion and stuff with everyone else in these kinds of things. I'm really enjoying the whole like buddy reads and um, read-alongs and that kind of thing. I, was, I, I haven't really done much of that, but I've been gaining quite a lot from being able to do that, and I think that's what I kind of wanted from joining booktube in the first place like having these discussions about books um generally but also having discussions about reading the same book and seeing different people's experience of the same content you know so um yeah that's basically uh, all that's happening right now um we can have a little look around and uh, i'll probably start heading back home in about half an hour i guess maybe 45 minutes something like that it's kind of nice it's been snowing a little bit so there's just a really light dusting of snow on everything and it's kind of cute there's a train really close to this forest uh, which is so weird when you're like in really nice peaceful forest and then suddenly there's a train C'est juste un peu trop um, et je, je, je le trouve un peu lourd et, et euh, pas, pas euh, pour moi. Et c'est intéressant parce que... Hey, it is Monday morning and I usually try every week, usually on a Monday, to around half eight o'clock have a, have a conversation session with my French tutor. Um, she's not so much of a tutor, I mean she does help that's the washing machine. She does help with like um, if I'm making mistakes and stuff obviously uh, but it's mostly for conversation practice rather than like oh here's your assignment for the week you know that kind of thing so yeah I just finished chatting with her and it's so weird like I definitely notice a difference when we chat more regularly I'm definitely more fluid in my speech and make less errors and I'm more comfortable putting in new vocabulary that I've learned into the conversation and stuff and when we've had a break like we have recently it's just like everything's out the window and I'm a lot um, more uh, stilted in my talking. That said I feel like I'm stilted in my talking even in English like you can probably tell but that's how I started my morning anyway. Now I am gonna get to work, answer some emails, and then work on a project that's um, never ending. <laughs> I also thought it might be worth saying that I'm doing the mid month book book the ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm doing the mid month book bash this weekend, well, from Friday to Monday, and I had planned for Friday and Monday to be mostly just listening to an audiobook or something like that because I can do that while I'm working. And then the weekend was supposed to be like actually reading text kind of thing. And I didn't do super well. I think on Saturday I did maybe about an hour and on Sunday I think I did two hours, maybe two and a half, something like that. So not great. Definitely not as much as I'd wanted to read, but it's still probably more than I would have done if not for this readathon. So I'll be continuing with that today. Um, and I'll probably be listening to something in keeping with Black History Month. Um, one thing that has come to my attention, um, not actually that recently, maybe like a year or two ago, maybe more, is the fact that I remember seeing a black woman talk about how Black History Month has become Black Culture Month. And while that's also interesting, um, I think that it is important to really look at history a lot of the time because the things that are happening now are obviously a direct result of history and I feel like I probably don't have a really good sense of history um, in that kind of way. I mean, history is outside of what is taught as kind of the mainstream. So I'm trying to familiarize myself with more of that kind of side of things and I think that's probably going to be how I use February's from now on as being properly black history rather than just um, black culture generally and celebrating you know black people generally. Um, February is more designated as a history um, focus you know. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. I might clarify that later on or something like that I don't know. Sorry about the light. Um, actually, I'm not sorry about the light. What am I supposed to do about that? Move to another place that's less awkward? Hmm, maybe. 
Anyway.